Hey y'all, what's up? I'm just gonna jump right in. I'm gonna start with my eyes, like always. So let me zoom you in. Bam. So I'm gonna start with my Kat Von D Locky Concealer and I'm gonna use this to prime my eyes today. Now I don't have a personal preference of concealer to use as a primer, so I basically go with the ones that are the thickest. I just feel like they cover a lot better than the ones that are pretty thin in consistency. That's just my personal preference. I'm gonna take my e.l.f. tapered brush and I'm just gonna quickly set that. Now for today, I'm gonna work out of nothing but the Huda Beauty palette. And for my transition, I'm gonna take sandalwood. Now for this look, I'm trying to keep it really, really round. So I am making sure that I bring it all the way in and I keep it right here, snugged on my outer corner eye. I'm not trying to drag it out too much because we're gonna cut the crease in a more like circle shape instead of like a half cut crease like I did in my last video or like that winged out cut crease. The next shade I'm gonna take is Moon Dust from her palette and I'm gonna use this shade right here to highlight my brow bone. The next shade that I'm gonna take is Coco. Take that on with my pencil brush from Revolution in number BX95. And I'm just gonna sketch out exactly where I want this kind of oval cut crease. Now that I have this sketched out, I'm going to take my Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm going to take a little bit of Man Eater right here and I'm going to use that to blend out cocoa just a little bit, make it a little bit more like rosy kind of. For this part, you want to kind of try and blend above the outline that we just did so that way it could have a smooth transitioning. And when we cut the crease, it just still looks nice and blend. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with Coco and the same pencil brush, and I'm gonna redefine that outline. Now I'm gonna go back in with Man Eater and I'm gonna further blend that out. Now I'm gonna take Bossy and I'm gonna go literally right above the color that we put for Coco just to really create that smooth transitioning from Coco to Manique. And I'm gonna take it with my Morphe M431 brush. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Man Eater and I'm gonna blend right on top of those two colors. The last brush that I'm going to take is the first brush that we use for our transition color, which is the Sephora number 27 brush. And I'm going to take a little bit of sandalwood, which is our very first color that we use. And I'm going to go right above literally everything and I'm going to blend out the edges very softly. And it should look like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish my other eye and I will be right back. All right. Both eyes are done. Now I'm gonna go in with my concealer, the same concealer we use to prime our eyes. And I'm gonna take a lip brush, because I feel like it's just like very small and precise. I'm gonna start to carve out my eyelid, but remember we're going in that shape that we just created with Coco.
go ahead and take 24 carat right here. And I'm gonna take it with my finger at first because I feel like you just got the best application with your hands. And I'm gonna place it in that part that we carved out. But this color is gorgeous. Now I'm gonna pick up this dual ended brush from Urban Decay and I'm gonna take the same eyeshadow and I'm gonna place it really, really close to those edges. I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter in the color Glam Rock and I'm gonna outline cut crease area with just this glitter which does that make sense I'm gonna put this glitter in the edges of 24 karat that way you can't see the harsh transition Now I'm gonna do my wing liner and I'm gonna take my Kat Von D tattoo liner to outline and I'm gonna fill it in with my NYX liquid eyeliner. Now that the eyes are done, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my mascara. I'm gonna take my Benefit Roller Lash and give my lashes a quick coat. All right, now I'm gonna take my Makeup Wipe and I'm just gonna clean up around my eye area. Now I'm gonna take my Ardell Wispy Lashes and I'm going to put the glue on it and then as it's drying, I'm just gonna start to prep my face. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of this, it's like Vaseline, um, it's from Pharmacy, it's called Honey Savior. It's like a repair skin treatment. Um, it feels very thick like, um, like Vaseline. So I put it in the areas that I have the most dry spots and then I like go ahead and put my primer on top. Now I'm gonna go in with my primer and today I'm gonna use the Dr. Brand Pores No More. I normally put this in the areas that I get like oily. It doesn't do so much for me like filling in the pores. Like I haven't seen a difference with this, but I do find that it does control my oils so put that in the area that I get oily all right now that my primer is on to die I'm gonna go ahead and pop my lashes on because I believe it's time so for the foundation I'm using Fenty Beauty but I did grab a couple shades darker from Sephora I actually got a sample and this shade is 310 so let's see how it looks when it's completely done I guess it's all right. Um, honestly, like I never seen it in this kind of lighting, natural lighting. Like I always look in the mirror and especially after I'm done doing my entire makeup, like my concealer, my bronzer's on. So obviously to me, it looks good, but I always have the hardest time finding a good color, especially because I'm a little darker being that summer just passed, so my skin color is trying to get back to its natural color. Like look orange in the face. You guys don't see it, but I see it. Mm. Won't make it work. 
I'm gonna take my Anastasia Cream Contour Palette. I'm gonna take this peachier shade right here and I'm gonna use it to color correct my eyes. Now I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm gonna use this to contour my face. Hella dark. Yeah, this shade was really dark. Now I'm gonna take an angled brush on it and I'm gonna take just this color right here and use it to cream contour my nose now I'm gonna take my knockoff of the artisan brush and I'm gonna use it to blend out my face This shit made it look gray right there. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more foundation to like fix that because that looked crazy. This is why I don't use this contour palette on myself because I've always find every time I use it, it just doesn't work out. I'm gonna take a little bit of that banana color in the cream contour kit and I'm gonna go right down the bridge of my nose to highlight this area. And to fix up that contour because it was just, it was going all over the place. I'm gonna take banana and cream and I'm gonna use that to highlight underneath my eyes. I don't like that much product underneath my eyes. I don't know, lately I've just been feeling less is better and then I know how to brighten it up without having to use so much concealer. So for just right now to cover that peachiness that we put previously underneath our eyes, I'm going in with this shade. No, too, too bright. So I mix these two. I'm gonna use my locket powder once again. Use it to set that, set this all in place. Okay. You guys are gonna think I'm pretty weird, but I'm gonna take this big fat fan brush, which I personally like to blend out cranes, but I'm gonna try it with powder today. Same bronzer, I'm gonna go in with a more small tapered brush. This one's my Morphe B43 brush. This is my go-to brush for my nose contour until I can find one that's better. But um, it just has a very thin tip, which kind of allows the product to kind of stay in the area that I put it, which is the point. I'm gonna go in with my Becca Sunlit Bronzer in the color Empanema Sun. I'm gonna sprint my face with my MAC Fix Plus.
I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Nicole Guerrero highlighting palette. I'm gonna take this Morphe M218 brush, which is this big fluffy brush, but I use it for highlighting, and I'm gonna take Forever Young. This is my favorite freaking shade in the whole palette. Now to finish off the face, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. little quad blush palette in dark. And they have no name, so I'm just gonna show you guys what color I'm gonna use. Alright, so now I wanna mix this one and this one down here. Oh, I look like a fucking cloud. I am going to zoom you guys back into my eyes so we can finish the lower lash line and then we're going to move on to lips. I normally use a brow bone highlight as my eyeliner for my waterline. I guess it's totally safe. I've been doing it for years. My eyeballs are still here and I'm alive. So. I'm going to take my Sigma Flat Definer E15 brush. And I'm gonna take Coco, which is the darkest shade that we used in our crease, and I'm gonna apply that very close to my waterline. All right, now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna go in with my Morphe Small Blending Brush in M431. And I'm going to take Man Eater and I'm going to go right under that color that we just placed. I'm going to take the same roll of lash mascara from Benefit and I'm going to give my lower lashes a coat. I'm gonna finish my lips and then I'll show you guys the final look. So I whipped out my Anastasia lip palette. I wanted to customize my own lip color. I wanted to go with something that was a little bit more like berry, but like in the pinkier tone. So I was thinking about mixing maybe this one and this one. This is the final look, you guys. I hope you guys liked it and it wasn't too, too difficult. I hope you guys liked the colors that I used today and how I created this look. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe on your way out. That way you guys can be part of the team and don't forget to click that little bell at the end so that way you get notified and I'll see you back in my next video. Bye.